I, I'll tell you what, have and have not fans, or just fans of the channel in general, I just really do appreciate how active you all are being. Like the views, the likes, that's one thing, but the comments, excuse me, comments take the cake. Now, somebody posted on one of my, uh, I think it was the uh, Greenleaf videos. And somebody said, like, you know what? Until Netflix, I never even knew what the show was. And I can't wait to watch it on OWN. We just added the channel to our subscription. Now, I don't know about you all. Like, I, I've been behind this mic. I've done videos about putting the haves and the have-nots, if loving you is wrong. All, basically, Tyler Perry putting his shows on DVD, Blu-ray, or at least putting them on, like, a Hulu or a Netflix because I feel like the own network is at our own TV network, however you want to say it. I feel like in a way it's its own worst enemy due to the fact that it's not something that's available to everyone like a Nickelodeon or BET or MTV or VH1 or ABC. It's the fact that it's like a going to Burger King. You want to get the value meal. OK, I want to get the burger, the fries, the drink and a little dessert. Oh, but can I add on like a 10 piece nugget? You see what I mean? Like the 10 piece nugget is advertised, obviously, but it's just one of those things that you got to pay a little bit extra, just a dollar 49 and then you get the 10 piece nugget. But everybody knows it well. I feel like even though Tyler Perry shows do very well on own and bring a lot of viewers to the network, I feel like it could be reaching so many more people if it was on so many uh, on another channel that's more available to everyone like you know i come from a very small town in virginia like i live in lynchburg people call it a small town to me it is huge like there are a lot of things here that aren't back in halifax county where i'm from like we don't have a chick-fil-a a cookout um applebee's we did have one but then it left because you know not enough business um we had a Forever 21. I think that was gone now. I mean, the only reason I bring it up is because that actually replaced where Blockbuster used to be. Rest RIP block, Blockbuster and soon to be Toys R Us is leaving as well. But I'm just saying that I come from a small town. So any exclusive deals, if you will, I have to drive an hour. You know, like to Lynchburg to my parents' house is literally one hour. Going back to the hometown of South Boston is one hour, like 55 minutes, depending on traffic. So you see what I mean here? Like, a lot of chain franchises that are common to everyone but not available to everybody. Like, I didn't even know what Chick-fil-A was until I moved to Lynchburg. So, the same thing with the OWN Network. The fact that it's not available to everyone means that there are people out there who don't know about it. They might have heard about it in passing. Like, there are people I know who are, you know, close friends. Like, hey, man, how's YouTube going? Yo, I'm uh, doing great. And they're like, uh, so what show? Uh, like, even going back to when I was still at the call center before I quit, uh, they were like, yo, so wh what are you doing on your channel? I was like, oh, uh, you know, I'm talking about Tyler Perry. Oh, Medea? Like, you know, of course they know about Medea because the movies, um, the fact that there were shows on TBS like uh, how, um, House of Pain, Meet the Browns, and Medea made cameos here and there. But when it comes to the haves and the have-nots, they don't know about it, which is sad because the haves and the have-not, in my mind, just demonstrated Tyler Perry's talent to a whole new level because he flipped the script on us. He gave us something that we never really expected, like the House of Pains and whatnot. That was a good show, but it didn't have the same level of mystery and drama and suspense that the haves and the have-not. Like, I'm not going to lie. If the haves and the have-nots wasn't as good as it is now in terms of like keeping people intrigued the mystery behind it the cliffhangers the uh, easter eggs you know the hints and clues and whatnot i wouldn't be on youtube speaking about this sh uh, show i literally wouldn't like it, it all came down to the fact that my mom uh, i was at home for uh i think this was before i moved away and right before yeah i think this was um during my last semester of college in grad school. Yeah, yeah. This was my last semester as a residential student. Like I did my second master's online. But I think it was like during my last semester as a resident student. That's when the haves and have nots came on. Either that or the fall. Yeah, I think it was probably the fall of when I became um, my last year on campus. But we got the own network for free for like a week. And that's when the haves and the have-nots came on. And if my mom didn't flip to that station, I don't even know if I would be here today. So there's that. But I'm just saying that if Tyler Perry just dropped maybe like the first season, 
on Netflix. Same with it. I'm not going to lie. If Loving You is wrong, if he dropped that show on Netflix, I would watch it from beginning to end. I literally would. Like, even shows that I started out liking but then fell out of it, the fact that it's on a, 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 a platform that's available to pretty much anyone. And it, it just plays itself. You know, I mean, at some point it'll stop and say, like, continue watching or not. But the fact that it's just like no commercials, I would love it to be on Netflix because number one, I pay for my Netflix. There's no commercials like there is on Hulu. And it's all right there with the click of a button. So I think that if Tyler Perry put the shows on Netflix, now, even if, even if the show does end in 2020 and the haves and the have nots is gone forever, like there's no sequel series or a movie. If he just ends it in 2020, I think he should put that show on Netflix because people would love it. I feel if he put that show on Netflix just to see that, okay, let me just put it on a platform like this and then see how many people watch it. And then based off the views and whatnot, then that will determine if I decide to continue it on a Viacom network like a, because you know, Viacom, that, where, that's where he's going to work for. It owns what Nickelodeon, BH1, MTV, BET, just to name several of the stations. I feel he would continue the um, show on probably BET. Like, think of it this way. Um, if you are a DC comic fan, Young Justice came on Cartoon Network, ended after two seasons. Fans begging for more. They put it on Netflix for a little while. And then based off the views on Netflix, the uh, purchasing of the DVDs, the comic books and whatnot, fans finally got season three. And season three is going to be dropping in the fall of this year. And I can't wait. So that's just a prime example of, okay, we're going to take a TV show because what Young Justice came on like at 10 or 11 a.m. on a Saturday. Not the best time frame for a cartoon, but at the same time, has and have nots. If you take it and put it on a platform that it, almost everybody and their mother has, I feel like people will watch it because there will be a lot of people who don't. I feel like people know of the show but they don't know the show that's all i'm saying just like that person that commented on greenleaf oh i didn't know about this show but i'm definitely going to tune in now because i saw it on netflix that's all i'm saying i'm i bet money if tyler perry put the hazard and have nots on netflix when i go to netflix like the next day i'll probably get that alert that uh trending on netflix popular on netflix new releases it would just clean how, may, may, again, maybe it's, maybe it's because of his contract of own, and that's why he can't distribute it. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. But I remember with TBS, you know, what his shows like House of, uh, House of Pain, Meet the Browns, they were, they, uh, I'm sorry, tongue tied. They were released on DVD. And I don't want to, I don't know what the contract details are, obviously, because I'm just a fan. But maybe Tyler Perry made that choice himself. Who knows? But it really doesn't make sense because um, the Oprah Winfrey shows like Greenleaf, they're on DVD, they're on Netflix, and they're on OWN. So Tyler Perry, man, just put the darn show on Netflix. for Guys, I'm telling you, if you're watching this video, copy a link, tweet it to Tyler Perry. It's on Twitter, at Tyler Perry. Tweet this video around, put the stars in it, put OWN in it, put Netflix in it. Because I don't know about you. But I want this show to be available as soon as possible. If he put just the first season just to see what the views would be, I think it will blow it out of the water. I really do think it will blow it out of the water. And then people will be like, what the heck is this? Let me get the own network. They'll be calling Xfinity and Dish Network, DirecTV, whatever they have, and upgrade their subscription I, i'm telling you now so guys let me know in the comment section below do you want tyler perry to put this show on netflix like love thy neighbor uh loving you is wrong they can come along too but in terms of priority i think the haves and the have not should at least have one or two seasons on netflix just to test the water and then bring more people not only to the tyler perry uh audience but also to the own network so guys i urge you share this video around like i said these companies, not all the time when they listen to the fans, but when enough of us gather together, things can happen. Like, remember when the game got canceled off uh, CW and BET picked it up? Then, like I said before, Young Justice, they finally picked up a season three. So, yeah, just keep the train going. Get this video in circulation as best you can, and I'll talk to you soon.